and gentlemen, please give a warm comedy tonight. Welcome to Mr. Joe Lasky right here. Yes, I know what you're saying to yourselves. Oh, God, here we go. Another model who thinks he's a performer. Give us a break, will you? Oh, but this, by the way, is not a double chin. There is another head under there, and we'll be talking to him shortly. Right now, in fact, because right now, it's time for Joe Alasky's bad casting, okay? These are all the right actors in all the wrong roles. And let's start off with a very talented guy. He used to be very popular back with the old Andy Griffith show, and then later on with Three's Company. Of course, I'm referring to... Don, uh, <laughs> I know the resemblance is incredible, but please, hold it down. Nevertheless, here he is, Don Knotts, as we've never seen him before. Don Knotts as Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> well, four score and seven years ago, <laughs> our fathers brought forth in this here kind in the new nation. Conceived in liberty and dedicated the proposition that all men are created equal. Thank you, Don. Our 16th president, Don Knight. Thank you. Bye. But then again, lots of great TV shows have come and gone over the past 30 years. That's why I'm going to talk about every single one of them right now. No, uh, there have been some good ones and some bad ones. And then there was Gilligan's Island. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, let me just give you a little refresher course. Hey, little buddy. I don't know, I think the skipper spent a little bit too much time on that island when he goes after Gilligan like this. I don't get it, you know? Anyhow, there were some really good shows, too. Shows like Star Trek, right? Let me hear it for Star Trek. Unfortunately, I've got some bad news for you Trekkies out there. I understand they're replacing William Shatner in the pivotal role of Captain Kirk for the next, yeah, for the next Star Trek feature coming out. Star Trek IV, The Wrath of Madeline Kahn. It's coming out soon. And they've decided to replace Bill with none other than Woody Allen as Captain Kirk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really, uh, yeah. Space. <laughs> The, uh, I don't know what, the final frontier. <laughs> okay, uh, well, these are the voyages of the Starship Door Prize. <laughs> it's, uh, it's five-year mission, you know, give or take 15, 20, 25 years, to, uh, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, I don't know, to, to boldly go where no man has gone before. <laughs> Planet Bakersfield. <laughs> thank you. Trickies, thank you. Well, wait a minute now. Fair is fair. If I can do Woody Allen as Captain Kirk, how about Captain Kirk as Woody Allen? Shall I give it a try? Yeah. All right, then. Here he is, everybody's favorite cop with curly hair. Here is William Shatner with the monologue from the end of the movie, Annie Hall. Well, After that, it got pretty late, and we both had to go. <laughs> but it was great seeing Annie again, and I realized what a terrific person she was. How much fun <laughs> it was. Just knowing, and I thought of that old joke, you know, this guy goes to a psychiatrist and says, Bones. My brother's crazy. He thinks. He's a chicken. And the doctor says, well, why don't you turn him in? The fellow says, well, I would, but we need the eggs. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful actor, William Shatter. Thank you. Of course, I only impersonate people I really like, and Bill is one of them. Okay, well, let's see now. Oh, I have some news for you about some specials coming up for us this year on TV. I understand uh, we're going to get a brand new Christmas special coming up next year 
for, uh, well, it's going to star uh, John Houseman as Santa Claus. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, little girl. Now come and sit on Santa's knee. And tell him what you'd like to see under the tree this year. You ignorant little shrimp. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute now, thank you. I'm getting off the track, I think. I bet you'd like to see some more Star Trek people, right? Yeah. Scotty, Scotty, what's wrong? With the engines. I don't know, sir. The dilithium crystals just quit on me, sir. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. But how soon do you think you can get them repaired, Scott? I don't know, sir. It might be a week, a month, a day, a minute, a millennia. I really couldn't say, sir. I don't know, sir. But I do have a knock-knock joke for you, sir. A knock-knock joke. All right, then, go ahead. Knock-knock, sir. Who's there? I don't know that either, sir. I don't know a damn thing. Okay, guys. Star Trek all night. Thank you. You've been such a great crowd. I think I'm going to treat you to uh, a little scene from one of our favorite shows from way back. Leave it to Beaver. Here's what might have happened if the part of everybody's favorite teenage chum, Eddie Haskell, had been played by a young, and I think he would have been the right age too, a young Jack Nicholson. Well, hello, Mrs. Cleaver. My, my, my. That's a very stylish ensemble you're wearing, man. Pearls and high heels in the kitchen. You hot ticket, you. So, uh, so tell me, June, how's a beaver? Actual dialogue from the show. One more bit. Been talking about bad casting all night. Here's some of the best casting of all time. It's a show that I'm sure that if you don't recognize it from the 1950s, you will recognize it from the 1980s. They called it The Honeymooners with Jackie Gleason and our Charney. Hey, Ralph B. Boy, what do you say there, Ralph? Hey, Ralph B. Boy. You ready to win that championship for the Hurricanes tonight? Hey, Ralph B. Boy. Norton! <laughs> we are not going bowling tonight. Oh, what are you talking about, Ralph? Geez, don't you remember last night there? I brought down my bowling ball there at 3 o'clock in the morning. We stuck him in a closet and so else wouldn't find him. You said it was a perfect hiding place. You said she wouldn't find him in a million years. You said she was Norton. We are not going bowling tonight. Ah, ah. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's great. <laughs>